guys and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Now about two years ago we did a Pinterest episode and it's actually one of our most popular episodes to date. What? 1.3 million views and counting. What? So anyway we thought we'd come back and do a part two. Okay so this is something that you guys have been requesting for a lot. There's Crayola Lip Gloss. So this is very interesting to me because the first time I heard about it I was like what? I'm putting crayons on my lips? But apparently you should only choose like Crayola or something that's just, like really non-toxic because this is safe but you know you don't want to get those that don't say non-toxic because you don't know what's inside. It could be lead, it could be like, I don't know like, a lot of things. A lot of, I don't know what they put in crayon. I think it's really good if you want like a special lip gloss colour for like a costume party or like something and they don't really sell that kind of colour or they do is very expensive and you're only going to use it like one time. So this is a really great alternative. So all you need are these like Crayola crayons, coconut oil, a ceramic bowl or like something, something that can withstand high heat. Q-tip for application and also if you want to keep it for next time, then something to store it in. So what I'm going to do is break this into half, break it again so it's easier to melt later on. Now I'm going to put some coconut oil. This is half a teaspoon. Okay, so now I'm going to put this inside and you notice the water is hot but not boiling. So it's here. So we're just going to leave that. I can smell coconut. It smells like coconut candy. Okay, so I've let it cool and this is how it looks. It basically kind of just feels like wax. So, here goes. Not oh, really once you get over the Crayola bit, it's actually, you can't really tell it's crayon because it does feel quite balmy. Which is actually really impressive to me considering the fact that this was just crayon and all we added was just coconut oil. <laughs> The colour payoff is not as good as this other one that we tried earlier on, which was the orange one. But I think also because it's green, I would say that my lips indeed do look green. Wouldn't you say? <laughs> You'll probably need to do a white base as well. Or put a concealer on your lips or something to get rid of the redness. Or use it as a base, you know what I mean? I think the colour will show up much better because you see it's really bright here. And also, earlier on, we tried it with a different colour, which was the orange. And let me show you. This colour payoff is fantastic. It's amazing. It's so bright and creamy. So, you know, different colours kind of like come out differently. So, I'm going to show you what the orange looks like. I think the payoff looks slightly better. But I think also, you know why? Because orange is closer to our lip tone than green is, <laughs> obviously. So maybe that's why it kind of it helps, you know, because it feeds each other. So cool! This is interesting! Wow! Thank you, Pinterest! So I would give this a 10 out of 10 because it's uh, very affordable and you have like one packet of like Crayolas, which is like 16 colours. You can make 16 different coloured lip balms. That's way cool. And it's a great alternative for like dressing up and stuff for like costume parties without like breaking the bank. Or if you want really unusual colours that are very hard to find in the store, this is your solution. Okay, so you might have seen those like nail polish removal bottles. It's like you stick your finger in and it removes all your nail polish. So we saw a lot of these also on like Pinterest, but the DIY kind. So we're gonna try out one version and see if it works. So all you need is a sponge, a bottle and some nail polish remover. You're supposed to stuff the entire sponge in and then pour in the nail polish remover. Voila, how easy! <laughs> Okay, all right, that was really simple. Now I'm just gonna paint my nails and see if it works. Okay, got my nails did. Now I'm going to remove my nail polish. The entire sponge is wet. Wah! Holy shit, that was fast. That's amazing. How do you make one of these? Okay, so this is like a normal like kitchen sponge that you use to wash your dishes or whatever. And it's like, from the dollar shop kind, so it's really cheap. At first, I thought the remover, right, I would have to pour all the way into here, but it's not. Until here is enough already, and you just gotta like shake it around. Wow! Impressive 10 out of 10, man. This 10, 10, 10, 10. It gets a very complete removal as well. You know, you just cut it third, and you'll get the sides, the sides, the sides. And you don't need to throw away things. Oh, it's like good for the environment as well, because you're not wasting so much cotton pad, cotton wool. This one is the splatter paint nails. And this is another example of something that looks great on Pinterest, but we need to find out will it look as good in real life. Okay, so I'm going to start with the base. And also, I'm going to apply Vaseline on the area around the nails so it won't get splattered by the nail polish. So I'm going to take out a bit of the nail polish first and put it here. And then, dab it in. And I'm just going to add more paint. I'm going to drip some into the straw. See if this works. <laughs> it totally missed. I <laughs> know one look like bird shit, the other one even gonna basket. Okay, never mind, never mind. I try different colour. Okay, we got this, we got this go. Okay, ready? <laughs> I don't think I made the do 
much in crab law. What is this? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I don't get it. Can someone please teach me? Okay, I give up, I give up, I give up. Uh, this, I didn't even cover this part with Vaseline. So irritated. This is very nice, you know. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, now I'm going to clean off everything else and see what the nail looks like. I don't even know where to begin. Like, I've just never removed nail polish on this scale before. Okay, so this is the final product. So it really doesn't look like how it did in the pictures. I, okay, basically it works. I'm just not very good at it. I'll give this pin like maybe a 9 out of 10 because I think it's very good and it's beautiful patterns. The only thing is the aim, but I think after a lot of practice, I'm pretty sure you'll get the aim right. So then it'll be a 9 out of 10, for sure. But like, I minus the one because it's like, if you make a mistake, my god, it's so messy. Like, it's so messy. And I don't like mess. <laughs> you know, you probably have a whole bunch of CDs lying around because like, people don't really use them anymore, right? So what do you do with all your old CDs? Well, we found something on Pinterest that actually looks like a lot of fun. So, you can blow bubbles with the CD. How? Scratch off the top. So, so hit the bottom until you sort of like see it cracking a little bit. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fun! I want to do it again, again, again! Okay, okay, I'm gonna try and make it longer this time. Oh, there we go. Holy shit! Wow! This is bigger than, than the one on the main dress photo! Children, <laughs> if you are watching this, please don't try it alone, okay? Get an adult to supervise, okay? <laughs> and then I say children, I cannot stop because it's all children. So this pin, I would rate it a 10 out of 10. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. <laughs> like it's just, it's one of those completely pointless things that you do and you kind of go like, why can't I stop? But there's absolutely no educational value and it really serves no purpose. It's not like this then becomes like a work of art, you know? But like, it's, it was fun, it was fun. We've come to the end of the episode. <laughs> if you want to find out more about the products, how much they cost, where to get them from, go to the tried and tested Facebook page. It's in our featured products album. We'll see you guys next time. Remember, download the app, okay? Because you can be the first to watch the videos, all of the videos, before they go on YouTube. Okay. Well, be beautiful.